The Florida State women's tennis team hosted the second annual Military Appreciation Day on February 20th. The event began with the Marching Chiefs performing the national anthem and the Color Guard's ceremonial presentation of the flags. This traditional event could not have started without the help of Coach Jennifer Hyde. Having a lot of people close to me and in my life that are ex-military, retired military, um, it just seemed like a, a, a natural thing to, to gravitate towards and kind of creating something that, that stands us out and, um, and, and engages our, our student athletes in something outside of just being tennis players and athletes. You know, from what I'm hearing, no one else does this in the nation and I'm glad that we could be, you know, pioneers for this. We are working to try and welcome our veterans home, not just to Florida State, but home, transition them, uh, and then vault them, if you will, in partnership with them into the exciting careers. So they have this exceptional experience and very exciting futures when coupled with their education from Florida State University. This year, the men's team was invited to take part in this special event, serving it up against the Citadel while the women faced off against Navy. It's quite an honor to um, host a military game here at home, uh, just because personally I have a brother who was in the Marines, so it's awesome to be able to do that. I think having FSU be a military-friendly campus is just makes them feel very welcome and, and make them feel like they're a part of something, you know, very big here in FSU. I hope our student athletes really take time to appreciate, you know, the, the freedoms that we have because of the sacrifices of others. And, and I think that that's continuing to grow is just something that's very forefront in their minds, whereas a couple years ago that wasn't the case. Being international, it is different for me, but at the same time, this country has given me so many opportunities, the opportunity to come here and play my sport and study at the same time. I'm just so grateful for everything the military has done for, for this country because it has, this country has given a lot to me back. Challenge coins are a part of military history and are used to prove membership, provide recognition, and enhance morale. So before the athletes displayed their skills on the courts, they showed their gratitude with the exchange of commemorative challenge coins. It's a great moment for sending the coins. Um, you, you get to shake hands with someone that has done so much for this country and it's just a little something to show our gratitude, so I think it's very important. Florida State's Tennis Center is named after Scott Spiker, an FSU grad who was the first American casualty of the first Gulf War. Marking 25 years since his death, his family is here to help honor his memory. It's really a special day for us, so not only are we here for Military Appreciation Day, so to, here to support FSU, student athletes, student veterans, but we're also here to make sure my father's remembered and that his legacy goes on. We're so proud to bring them back, so happy to have them involved in this event. And as it continues to grow, I hope they'll be alongside the whole way with us. You know, we salute the family. We want to honor all of the fallen, uh, those that went to Florida State. Uh, we have a, a responsibility to honor them here. Uh, and we do that. And so it is just a great honor to have the tennis facility named after Scott. It is very special and it's hard to believe that it's been 25 years and to see that he's still recognized here, um, it really is special for our whole family and it, it's an emotional day. It's difficult but, but happy at the same time and we're so thankful for that. In addition to hosting the military appreciation event once a year, the women's tennis team also holds quarterly clinics with Florida State student veterans and the military community to create a stronger sense of family. I'm Annie Kane for Seminole Sports Magazine.